Hello, this is Michael McCarthy. In this video, we're going to take a look at using uh, Ornatrix to bake our hair down to a texture with V-Ray. Now, in previous videos, we've taken a look at how to do this step-by-step -step with Render to Texture using Scanline. And if you want a little more detail on that, you can take a look at that Scanline video. Here, we'll probably be going through the process fairly quickly, um, just kind of assuming a general knowledge with Render to Texture. So to start off, what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and grab our hair. So let's grab the bat hair and go over to our modifier stack. Now we're using the bat, furry bat sample scene from the Ornatrix site. So you guys can grab that and follow along if you wish. Now we're not going to be using the V-Ray or Ornatrix mod because we're going to need this hair to be a mesh in order to bake it. So we're going to delete that and then we're going to go ahead and add our mesh from strands modifier. So I've added that mesh from strands modifier there. Next there'll be a couple of quick things that we want to set up. Uh, first we're going to want to use uh, cylindrical hair, so I'll click on that. And down here in per strand UV cords, we'll want to uncheck that so that we get the actual underlying color of uh, the bat's hair. And now the hair is ready to be baked from that standpoint. Next we want to select the bat body and we're going to make a snapshot of it. So I'm going to go over to tools and choose snapshot. You can see we get a snapshot of that mesh. I'm just going to double click, rename that bat body bake, and we'll be using this mesh in order to bake on. Now to set up the mesh, we're going to add a projection modifier. So I'll just go in here and grab the projection mod. I'm going to increase the cage to encompass all the hairs that are underlying. So about that should be okay. And in the reference geometry area, as we've made our hair geometry, we can click on pick and then pick the hair in the viewport. Make sure that we have bat hair set up there. Now we've basically set up our hair and our geometry ready to bake. So let's go into render to texture. With the bat body bake selected, I'm going to press zero and pop in here. You can see that's selected in the objects to bake. You can see our projection modifier is enabled here so or, or is available so we'll click on enable and under options we'll check a couple of settings here so we can say uh, Ramus check we don't really need that we know we want to include the working model and we'll leave everything else at its default for now as we did discuss in previous videos we do want to use the existing mapping coordinates but we want to make sure that we choose channel 1 for that UV map and now we can go down into output so here we'll click on Add, and because we're using V-Ray, we're going to want to choose our V-Ray elements here. So let's just scroll down, we'll just choose a couple of simple ones. So first we're going to choose the V-Ray Complete Map. We'll set that to maybe 1024 by 1024, and we can put that in the Diffuse Color slot, that'll be fine. Next, we're going to go down and we're going to choose our V-Ray Normals Map. There we go. Add that in and we'll do the same thing. Set that there. See that that goes into bump, which would work out well. And there we go. So there's one thing that we're going to want to do. Uh, you may want to make sure that you check apply color mapping for uh, both of these. If you have a setup like we do here, where you have some of that color mapping. So you'll see that show up on the actual render. If you don't have that option checked here, then you may have uh, a render for your element that is a little too bright or a little too dark. So important to kind of uh, take that into consideration. Okay, so we'll scroll down here. I'm going to go into my renderer and just set up a couple of settings. This was set up for uh, progressive, which will work very well. But just so that we get a very clear and finite end here, I'm going to set that to adaptive subdivision and I'll leave it at its default. Okay, now that we've set up our render settings and our maps, we should be able to click on render. Now one thing you want to make sure of with that color mapping is of course that you're rendering out of the V-Ray camera because that's where that information is going to come from. Otherwise this may be a little bit bright. So you can see this go through pretty quickly, uh, generates the global illumination information, then goes to start render your hair on the flattened out model. We can go through our maps here for our alpha, our complete map, as well as our normal map here. So we'll just wait for this to render through. Okay, so that rendered through and let's go take a look at our maps. 
we can go into just hide our hair. So there's the bat hair. We're going to hide that. We can hide that original bat body too. And we just have the bait character. You can see the texture in the viewport there. We'll go into the material editor and grab that. And of course, this is baking down the texture using the uh, V-Ray hair uh, material that we used for the creation of this scene. So that's always very good. Go into the bake material. I might just turn that on in render for the moment. And we can see, take a look at our map. So you can see this is rendered out our character's hair. And we can go into the bump map. I'm just going to put this into a normal bump. So we'll keep that old map as the sub map. And there's our V-Ray normals. You can see there's our normal map. And we'll just do a quick render here. So you can see this, this comes through. We have our baked down textures looking pretty nice. And we also have our normal map coming through there. And that's basically how we bake down our textures from hair onto an object using uh, V-Ray and Ornatrix. Again, this is probably a really good process to do on any furry character. So you have that nice fur underneath even generated fur if you're going to render out the full uh, hair for the character. And of course, if you had characters that were going into game engines that just needed fur textures, or if you had background characters that this type of situation would work out well for. So we can always go in and we can use this texture underneath and bring back our bat hair. In this case, we'd probably go in and we'd turn off our mesh from strands modifier. We go and grab our V-Ray for Ornatrix mod again. And then we can render it out. So we'll go in here and then we get the full hair with our uh, hair texture underneath as well, just for additional coverage. If you see any uh, spots under the hair that, you know, from the character deforming or other things like that can always be really useful. So this is really great if you're doing things uh, also with characters that have uh, a hairdo for a scalp. So not just for furry characters here, any you know, human characters you might do or things like that. It's best not to leave the scalp just either, you know, a plain skin color or something of that nature. Usually you choose a color of the hair itself, but you can even go a step beyond and actually bake that hair down for your characters. Okay, so hopefully this has been helpful and it will help you in your productions using Ornatrix and V-Ray. Thank you very much.